This is from this is from Duke's uh, bar and uh, beach bar in Waikiki. So yes, we the cat is out of the bag. We did just shoot a movie in Hawaii, and uh, it was a passion project for us. We uh, I've told this story before, um, but we were shooting the second movie, I believe the second movie of A Perfect Perfect Bride, and one of the execs from Hallmark was there and she had mentioned that a friend of ours was directing a movie in Fiji. And we were both a little pissed because we're like, why didn't he hire us? Why aren't we in Fiji shooting this movie? So right away, I, I, I was just like, well, I want to do a movie. I want to do a destination movie too. I mean, let's, we got to be able to go somewhere. There's got to be something. So the exec did not shoot it down. Her name was Sam. She did not shoot the idea down. And when you don't shoot an idea of mine down, I will pursue the idea until you shut it down. So a couple weeks later, uh, I asked Pascal what she wanted to be. Because we asked the network and they're like, you know what, if you guys come up with an idea, we're, we're happy to hear the idea. The, no guarantee they'll accept the idea, but the, they would listen. So I asked her, I said, well, what do you want to be? And she said, you know what, I want to be a travel blogger a really uptight travel blogger i'm like great i'll be the exact opposite let's go pitch a movie and so that's what we did and we went in and, and that's another reason why having a partner is great because i've never pitched things before but when you walk into a room with a bunch of these executives and you have your friend and your partner there with you to bounce ideas with and when you're running out of conversation she can you know grab the ball and keep rolling um it, they agreed to the idea, and then we got railroaded by the current state of the world. And we were we were trying to pull it off about two years ago, but we ran got too close to the start of when calls season seven, and so we had to delay. So we delayed, and then we were going to shoot last year in I think January or February and we were ready to go they had decided it was going to be Hawaii we had kind of pitched a bunch of different ideas starting with Fiji and then kind of just moved around and then they really wanted to go to Hawaii because they'd never shot there before and I mean who wouldn't want to go to Hawaii so they made that choice but then world got shut down in in March and we lost our opportunity there so it, it's taken a long time and I think that because it took so long, the show benefited. And it's, it's a real true rom-com with heavy on the com. And, and, and we were lucky because Hallmark has sort of made a commitment to trying to do more with comedy. And that just happened recently. That was one of their mandates. And uh, we benefited from that. So our script went from being, you know, a normal rom-com to actually they upped some of the comedy, which we loved. It was, well, that's like perfect for us. And uh, so I think we benefited from the wait. I think we benefited from having everything planned out and the, the Hawaii was up and running again. The film community was up and running again. And we managed to sort of fall in right after, I think it was Magnum PI or Hawaii Five O or one of those shows that they shoot there had stopped shooting. So we got their crew. So we got a completely professional, high-end crew, high-end DP, everybody. Everybody was so great on the show. It was um, the only drawback was that because of COVID, we were initially supposed to go to three islands. We were supposed to go to Kona, Maui, and Oahu. And because we couldn't travel as freely anymore, we, we had to stick to one. So we, we stuck on Oahu, which was incredibly beautiful. And uh, in some ways, not moving around was a little more calm. Like we got to kind of, Pascal and I hung out a lot at the hotel and we would have uh, dinners together and stuff like that. And instead of having to run to airports or to ferries or something like that. so. This one is a real passion project. The other movies, the other two movies we did together, the first one was just kind of offered to us. So it wasn't really our story. And then the second one was a follow-up to it. Even though it was our idea, it wasn't really our baby. It was, you know, somebody else's brainchild. This one really is us. We took it to them, the whole idea. And then we all worked at it with the writers. And we were kept in the loop 
all the way through and with each evolution of the story. And uh, I can't tell you how great an experience it was and how fun it was and the things we got to do and the way I think it's going to play on screen. It's uh, it was un it was really so much fun. I've never had more fun in my whole life shooting anything ever. Yeah, we just finished and the director, the director of it, um, John Putch, wonderful, wonderful guy. He actually just emailed. He turned in his uh, edit today. So they just got the first cut. And then, of course, the network uh, has a firm grip over what they put out. So they'll go over it and hopefully they keep a lot of the integrity of the show and, and that and that and that they'll keep pushing with the humor the way that we wanted to do it. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. I hope for the best. This is from.